Chapter 11, Mishnah 2. This Mishnah gives cases in which the requirement to wash out the chatas blood does not apply. The blood of an unfit chatas does not require laundering of the garment on which it spatters. Whether the chatas had a time of fitness before it became unfit, or whether it never had a time of fitness. In either case, if blood spatters from an unfit chatas, the garment does not have to be laundered. The Mishnah now gives the cases of chatos, chataos, that were once fit and of those that were never fit. Which unfit chatas is one that had a time when it was fit? One that its blood remained until night without zirika, or that its blood became tame before zirika, or that its blood left the courtyard before zirika. In all these cases, the blood is now unfit for zirika, but was originally fit for zirika when it was received in the sacred vessel. And which unfit chatas is one that never had a time when it was fit? One that was slaughtered with the intent that it would be eaten past its proper time, or with the intent that it would be eaten outside its proper place, or that unfit people received and threw its blood. In all these cases, there was never a time when the blood was fit for Zerika.